Hey, it's V and we are back today with another home DIY video. It has been a minute since I've done one of these and that is honestly just because they are not the easiest to produce. But I've had this project on my to-do list for like years almost. I have an area in my kitchen where my fridge goes, where it is basically just a fridge. It is not the best looking. Uh, it, I, it just looks like I have a fridge floating in the middle of the wall, nothing around it. It was not a nice sight to look at. And I wanted it to look a little more cohesive, like it belonged with my kitchen. So this is my kitchen. It's very white. It has some brown shelves, black hardware. And I wanted the fridge area to match with the rest of the kitchen. So I, ideally, I was trying to do an Ikea like built in around, you know, the, the cabinet that goes above the fridge and then down the side of the fridge. But I went onto the Ikea website. I priced it out. It was not cheap and I am. So I decided to go a different route and I found this black like locker unit on Amazon and I thought, okay, it goes with the like look that I'm going for. My, my home is very black and white, it's very monochrome. And so I thought this locker would fit in nicely and then I wanted to do a wood shelf, like a lumber shelf across the top, similar to what I have over my sink. After doing a very crude mock-up in Canva, I was like, okay, I think I like this, this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and order this locker from Amazon. It was only $200 and I knew I could get lumber fairly cheaply. So I decided to just go ahead and get the locker and if I didn't like it, then I could always just put it somewhere else in the house because I knew it would fit somewhere. So the locker came, it was about 53 pounds, I believe, which I had to lift and carry up several flights of stairs all by myself. That's always fun, but I am a strong woman and I was able to do it. So I got it in the house, I put it together. It took me about an hour all together to get it put together. It wasn't extremely difficult. The instructions weren't the easiest to follow, but my problems mostly came with trying to keep some of the pieces in place while I put the other pieces on top of them, as well as I ran into some issues with the very top, like the top of the locker, I'm trying to get that on because the metal was a little, not bent out of place. It just, it needed to be bent inwards a little bit to get it to kind of like sit on it securely. And so once I figured that out, I was able to like push the, the metal in a little bit, get the top on, we, it was fine. Um, it just, it did take me about an hour, but all in all, it wasn't too, too difficult. Although it does look like I'm struggling a bit, so. I put the locker in its place after moving all the other like plants and stuff out of the way. And then I decided I wanted to swap out the handle for one that matched the handles that I use in my kitchen. Of course, I only had six inch handles left over from when I swapped out my, my cabinet handles. And so I had to buy one from Amazon. But thankfully, Amazon lets you buy them in a one pack. So I bought one of the five inch handles swapped it out super easy and even though it's a very small detail that probably no one would even notice i notice it it makes me a lot happier to see that all my handles are the same throughout the kitchen i love it okay this next part turned out to be the most difficult i drove around for two days trying to find a piece of lumber to use as a shelf to go over the fridge in the cabinet unit and it was so it was it was almost a painful experience i went to like every Lowe's and every Home Depot within like a 50 mile radius, like not even lying. So I'm at Home Depot again. In the past two days, I've been to, I think three, four Home Depots and like three Lowe's trying to find a freaking piece of wood. <sighs> Wish me luck. Wish me luck. And I just, I, at the, in the end, I finally not gave up. I compromised with myself. I was looking for a two by, so a two inch by 16 inch by like five foot piece of wood. And it just, it, it does not exist. So I had to make do with what I could find. So I got two, two inch by eight inch by like 57 inch pieces of wood. 
put them together side by side and called it good. It was a little bit short because of course lumber is a lie. It says it's eight inches. It's not, it's like seven and a half inches. So it ended up being about an inch short, but at that point I just didn't even care anymore. Um, I was already home. I had did a dry fit and that's when I saw that it was a little bit short. I figured I would just cover the shortness with some plants. No one, no one needs to know. So I went ahead and sanded the wood, stained the wood. I combined the two wood pieces together using a little metal, I don't know what you call it, like a little metal bracket piece. And then I put it in place. I ended up using a piece of non-slip like shelf liner to sandwich in between the shelf and the cabinet unit so it wouldn't slide around. And I used another bracket to actually attach to the wall. I'm not really sure what this bracket is called. I don't, I don't think it's an L bracket, maybe it is. Um, I'm kind of dumb when it comes to DIY. Like I like doing DIY, but I'm not like a DIY queen or anything. So you guys can let me know in the comments what it's called. And that is basically it. I'm really happy with how this project turned out. It was actually a fairly simple project. Something that could have cost me over a thousand dollars and a much bigger headache, I was able to accomplish with less than 250. I was able to do it all by myself. I think it looks great. I think it goes well with my condo. I do still need to dress it up a little bit. I have some plants up there right now, but I want to add like maybe some big bowls, some big vases. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going with the decor just at this moment, but I mean, that that's to come. But yeah, I'm really happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you did not, you can give it a thumbs down. I would much rather prefer you did not. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Then I could put it somewhere else in the house. Um, 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 Fridge, um. Stop saying um, 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 um. You say um too much. No one said that to me, I say that to me. Of a table that originally was in 